good morning guys so today um i'm gonna be doing inventory and cleaning up the shop a lot of the times i do a lot of my shopping online i know y'all heard me speak about that before us buying equipment in amazon but just for like the little essentials that i need i'm gonna go ahead and hit walmart today dollar tree i might hit state beauty but the state beauty in my city they low-key never really just have that many things as tissues they need to fix that <laughs> it's literally like cosmetology laying there um so yeah i just need stuff for my restrooms um i need to take out trash clean makeup brush you know all the deal so i'm just gonna take y'all along with me and i'll check back in once i get to a store hopefully it is not any elevator music playing in the background just go ahead over today So uh, I went ahead and got me some of these, these little wet mop stuff to mop. <clears throat> I lucky think I want like one of them old school mops to kind of really get the stuff off the floor. And then I'm also going to get me some of these Clorox wipes because I normally, and this is probably killing my white furniture that I have at the shop, but it's okay. I normally wipe everything down between each client. And I spray it with Lysol. So I'm gonna get one of these. And then, let's see. I think I'm almost out of Lysol. Y'all, look. Did y'all know Lysol is almost $7? Should I just get the pack or what? That's wild to me. Hmm. You know Lysol almost $7? You know Lifestyle seven dollars. Uh, yeah, I'm like, yo, I remember last time I got it was five ninety something. Okay, and now I believe I have tissue at the shop. <clears throat> I think I got it. It's a cute little baby here, y'all. It just really talks. It's been really talking, but. I don't think I have paper towels. I know for sure I don't have no paper towels. So I'm about to go get some paper towels. Normally I like to keep stock paper towels, tissue, and wipes. Oh, and also I like to keep wipes, like feminine wipes in my bathroom because I specialize in Brazilians and sometimes, you know, my girls be running around before their appointment or if they feel like it's some little sugar left over or something and they want to just clean themselves i normally give them that option to do so so i need to go over to that department too to make sure i get some wipes okay we got to keep it real clean around here i don't think y'all can hear this music but yeah i'm about to get well my friend came with me and uh she's about to give me a basket because you know when you come in some place and it's like, oh, I'm only gonna get X, Y, and Z, and then you get to Walmart and you buy all type of shit. Yeah, that's what it's giving. So, yeah, I'm waiting on it right now. So that's my total. That ain't that bad for what I got. Insert cash. Okay. Yeah, ever since I got this post wallet, it makes the door the door alarm go off every time i go through and uh it's real ghetto go ahead and push it through and i'm gonna let them know I, i'm just about to tell you like this is gonna make my purse makes the thing go off so i didn't want you to be like all right <laughs> have a good day you too. Okay. i don't get it i ordered this little post wallet offline and ever since oh excuse me Ever since I ordered this wallet, it's been making a little door thing go off. But the Walmart by my house, it don't do that. Thing is over here. It don't do that. So yeah. So now I'm about to probably go to Dollar Tree and see if I can get me like some small mason jars maybe. We probably gonna have to slide through a car because I can see the car right there. Some small mason jars or um, I don't know. I don't know what to call it. Yeah. <laughs> so 
so small. <laughs> he was just waving. I don't know what the hell going on. So small mason jars or something. Um, or like some type of, I don't know how to explain it without sounding crazy. Some type of stuff to put my, um, my clean instruments in. After I do barbicide, I put them in my sterilization oven. And then uh, I need a new place to keep them, you know, before the next, the next client comes. So we have to see if Dollar Tree has something right quick. If not, then I'm just gonna order some on Amazon like I always do shit. look like a little open when I've seen it you gotta have a lid on there to stay where it comes especially during COVID right now like I know when I first got into my suite I had to have a trash can but it had to have a lid on there and then my laundry basket had to have a lid on there oh them is a little small I probably have to order them on Amazon yeah they light compared to ours Ours kind of looking a little bougie nowadays. When they open, they be making their own hours now. I feel it. I got shot glasses though. Okay guys, so I can never find a cool song that is YouTube worthy. So I figured that I would just speak with you guys while I'm cleaning up everything. Um, so I'm about to start cleaning my makeup brushes and cleaning up that. You see it? Look like a tornado, baby. I had like a couple of clients the, the day prior to that. So that's why I was giving it. But... Off topic, I really wanted to talk to y'all about a book that I read called The Alchemist. So I have been hearing about this book for years, right? And I have always been really like an avid reader. And I'm not going to hold you. I've been slacking a little bit when it comes to reading. Um, just because, you know, we're so used to just picking up y'all picking up our phones or laptops or whatever, but it's nothing like a good book, okay? Like, I can't get with the audiobooks. Like, I love books. I can feel the pages. I show, like, a whole movie in my head, okay? It gets real. But anyway, it did take me a couple of days to um, finish the novel, and I'm learning as I get older that, yes, I can run through a book possibly one or two days, but I'm learning that it's better for me to read a couple of chapters at a time so I could just actually digest and analyze what I actually read, you know, because you could read about two or three paragraphs and not be able to tell anybody shit you read. <laughs> well, I can't anyway. So anyway, um, so basically the book, um, I wrote, I read the prologue and the author was just explaining how he wrote this book. You know, he thought it was just going to do numbers, you know, because when, when you when you make your own um, work of art or something that just looks so magnificent to you, you just like, oh, yeah, this is the way. <laughs> soon as I release this or as soon as somebody see this makeup look or this canvas I didn't paint it on, I, I know it's flying off the charts. OK, so he was basically saying he wrote this novel and he could not get anybody to mess with him at all. Like the publishing companies, I feel like he said he went to one and I can't remember if it was like as little as one to three books he sold. It was something very small. So it took him, don't quote me, I want to say a couple of years, meaning maybe one or two years for his stuff to really pop off. And, you know, that was a gem in itself, because if you're a new business owner, you know how the world shows it is you're supposed to get your LLC, start your business and baby overnight celebrity, you cashing out next week. You know what I mean? 
something it don't work like that <laughs> it doesn't work like that now some people do get lucky and become viral overnight or overnight success um but to the vast majority it doesn't work like that uh so basically somebody had heard about his book because it was in a different country once they got it and brought it back i want to say to america that's when it started going crazy it started spreading like wildfire. Then, then people really wanted to mess with him and really want to buy this book. But, you know, it goes to show you that nobody sees your vision like you see your vision. You can't wait on somebody to always give you the okay when it comes to what your dream look like. When you close, this, this sounds real crazy. When you close your eyes and you dream, your significant other, you know, let's say, um, what is it called? I can't I can't think about it. But unless they traveling, <laughs> time traveling with you, or I can't think of the word. I sound ignorant. I'm going to come back to it. They're not going to see that vision like you see that vision. So it's primarily up to you to see the whole, whole thing through before anybody else can see it. So basically, the overall, um, what I learned from the book was everybody has their own personal legend and you know that really opened up my eyes because one thing we learn outside of school or if we're learning a new thing is to study the next person or how can I emulate um a person that's in my field or what what type of what am I trying to say like what type of game plan they have you know people are always like selling classes, selling, selling courses. Like th this is how I went about it. Like y'all need to buy this course and you know, you're going to make it. Now I'm not saying don't go spend money and invest in yourself to buy courses because I've done it and I'm going to continue to do it. If I feel like it's going to um, further my knowledge in my field. Um, but what I'm saying is don't get so deep into something that you've purchased or another person's work to where you lose your own creativity you know what I mean like so that's another thing that I took from that as well is you have to be your own creator because everybody is not made the same and that that is so true you know I told people when I first started in this business it's like I don't have a problem with sharing certain stuff with people because what God has given me, you know what I mean? That doesn't mean that the next person is going to move like I move or, you know, and like I said, I, I don't really have a problem with passing along information, but it did hit me to the core because it's just kind of like, dang, I was like overanalyzing my work <laughs> to the point of, damn, should I even be in this career path? Am I even doing anything to where when people were giving me compliments or sending me referrals and stuff like that? Like, I'm like, dang, do I want to post this picture or not even when it comes to like likes or comments or anything like that? I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking of primarily comparing my work to other people's works on like my Explorer page or people around me. I remember when I first started as well, like. Your girl didn't know anything about like the Facetune, the all that, all, all of the magnificent apps that the girls have. Like, I didn't know anything about that. So I used to be like, girl, what is going on? I just spent money on these primers. I got the good stuff. I'm talking about um, Smashbox, uh, Anastasia milk all that you know what i mean i'm spending money on all this i'm like what is how she not have any pores on her face how is she breathing <laughs> you feel me like okay like she ain't got she started off with you know with with some troubled skin what type of corrector did she use on her face for her not to have anything at all you know what i mean like i was low-key going crazy trying to figure out what like honestly this can't be for me because I'm not, girl, I don't know why this camera is shaking like that. Ex excuse this camera. 
um i had a little break went here to clean this bathroom sorry i'll be getting sidetracked so basically you know i had to once i started learning about all these apps and all these filters and all this stuff it was like a breath for fresh air because i stopped analyzing myself so anyway the moral of the message is be your own creator keep going don't stop and your work is gonna pay off and that's all i got for y'all i hope y'all enjoyed my vlog today make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video